it's it's thrilling, it's entertaining, which I think a lot of people don't necessarily know to expect. And that to me is what makes it so wonderful because it's not one of those movies that's preaching. It's one of those movies that you're so entertained that by the end of it, you don't even realize that you learned some incredible things. Um, an accidental history lesson? It's an accidental history lesson uh, and hopefully uh, a movie worthy of a discussion after you leave the theater. Well, it's good for you, man, because I love watching actors like yourself because you're so versatile. Like, a lot of people may not realize it at first, but as you're watching this movie, you're like, damn, Josh has skills. <laughs> That's good, you. man. It's good Thank to mix you. it up, I appreciate that. That's a sort of backhanded compliment, and, I, and I'm willing no, to take it. No, it's not backhanded at all. <laughs> no, it means you, no, it means you're dope, man. A lot of man. people don't know this because they think you're usually an idiot on screen, but... You bring not something. idiot. No, you yeah, normally know, don't I do know. this type of thing. No, it's, you know it's that. true. You know it's true. That. No, you it is that. true. I, I, I've, I've definitely uh, carved out a niche for myself in Hollywood, which is both a blessing and a curse because you want. My background was I studied at drama school for four years. See, there you, there you go. There you go. You're back to your foundation. And now I'm back to my foundations, and and it's great. It's a great challenge, uh, but also a, a great joy uh, to be a part of movies like Marshall that have such incredible incredible message. Now, how much digging and research did you have to do? How much did you know about Thurgood Marshall before you got involved with the project at this professional level? You know, I, I knew uh, a lot about um, Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. I knew a lot about Brown versus Board of Education Thurgood Marshall. Uh, I don't think even a lot of scholars knew about this particular case. And that, to me, is what was so exciting. Um, the, you know, these, this is a movie, uh, an origin story of, of real-life superheroes. Sam Friedman and Thurgood Marshall uh, don't wear capes. They wear suits and ties. They don't throw a single knockout punch. They throw a brief, uh, you know, and, and that to me was so exciting because uh, hopefully it inspires a new wave of activists who are willing to form alliances like the one that's formed in this film and go out and defend those people who are in desperate need of defending. Yeah, talk about the, the importance of a movie like this for right now, because there's a lot going on politically and socially. Yeah, yeah I, look, I think that when we made this movie, it was it was a different time, uh, <laughs> for better or for worse. Right, it was right. you know it was a year ago, and 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 things were a lot different. The, at that time, the, the the issue that was being discussed on set was Ferguson. At that time, there was uh, an African American sitting in the highest office in the land. Um, things have changed, obviously, in the last year. Uh, there's, you know, I, I think any sort of um, false um, impression that race, that the discussion of race was over, um, has unfortunately. Um, been upended, uh, and and with issues like Charlottesville, and and obviously today we're we're dealing with uh, the issue of, of um, sports and 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 that whole thing. I think every day it becomes more and more necessary to have these discussions, and this movie hopefully can bridge the gap and can allow people um, to to use it as a tool to have those uncomfortable discourses.